Welcome to another episode of Roots Unearthed. Welcome back to another episode of Roots Unearthed. As you can see, we finally have the framing from our porch done. Both the back porch and the front porch um, have been completed. It's been about, uh, I think this will be two weeks since our last uh, update. And as you can imagine, there wasn't a whole lot when you're between switching um, subs and we're going from, in this case, framing to plumbing. So the house is, I would say about 90% rough plumbed right now. Um, and we got through all of our structural issues. Um, and it looks like we're gonna be going to windows and doors probably next week, or at least they'll be delivered. So um, the whole outside is gonna look like a house pretty soon. As you may remember from our last episode, we had an issue here with um, the load bearing supports. And as you can see, we have that giant LVL right here um, over this door into our master bedroom, master bathroom. Um, so the pocket doors are now installed. Our plumbing is in, it looks great. Our shower wall is in now. And of course the shower is all plumbed. So it is getting pretty close for me to start building the shower pan um, and tiling, you know, just to get a little bit more that needs to be done before it's my turn. One of the change orders that we put in was we requested this wall to be curved. And I think it looks pretty cool. Um, and you can really see now that the uh, temporary stairs are in place, that this little area here, the coffee bar, kind of what it will look like. And as you're walking along, this having this curved wall just makes it flow really nicely here. We actually had a curved wall in our first house um, and it was a 1950s Cape Cod. And we've been joking as we've been building this house that this, is, this house is, is a merger between our first, which is a 1950s Cape Cod, and then uh, we built in 2017 the first time, which is kind of like your traditional you know, American home, so to speak. Um, so this house is, is a merger of the two and we are really trying to bring a lot of that craftsman feel into this house because that's kind of who we are. Uh, you know, we're the ones that are really going to customize this a lot to make it our own. Looks like Penny's found a spot here. Is that your spot, Pen? Is that your spot? Yeah. Well, you can stay. You can stay. It's a good spot. No? You're dirty. Dirty, dirty, dirty dog. Yes, you are. I'm dirty too. It's okay. Oh, you a good paw? Thank you. Thank you very much. So we have the front porch here, which is a lot easier to get in and out of now. <laughs> At least crossing this little moat. And these stairs are not, uh, I don't think they're gonna be the exact same size of what our stairs are. I mean, obviously the width is not, but uh, they do feel a little off of what I hope they will be. <laughs> so you can see we have the temporary stairs in here, which makes getting up and down a lot easier than the climbing that we've been doing uh, on this, this wall here. As you can tell, fall has come. The leaves have changed colors, the leaves are falling, and what that means is it's been a year since we bought this land, and it's really hard to believe how much we've done in the past year, but everything from closing on the land, 
clearing a huge portion, designing this house, permitting, septics, um, perk tests, all that fun stuff. And of course, closing on our mortgage, finding our builder, bidding everything out. What a journey it's been in the past year. So we're just uh, so blessed and happy to have this land. And we're so excited to be in this house when it comes, but um, it's been one year. So getting back to the rough plumbing, I know this isn't the most exciting topic for a lot of people, but uh, uh, it's also one of the most uh, useful in a house. <laughs> so as you can see, our tub is in for the girls upstairs. The toilet is plumbed in. Everything is ready to go. So you can see outside here, pretty much all of the lumber is gone. I mean, there really isn't too much more to frame. Uh, we're gonna be having the windows and doors in next, and the roofing should be coming along soon. Uh, just waiting to get our final quotes on, I guess there's three different types of metal roof uh, that we're looking at. Well, that's it for this episode. Um, I know it's a little bit of a short episode, but uh, I doubt everyone wants to see plumbing. It's not that exciting. Uh, <laughs> But like I said, windows and doors coming in next. And then to give you a little update on the farm here, let's see. Well, we uh, were able to start uh, pulling some scraps out of the dumpster. And Melissa actually made this pretty much entirely herself. This is her vegetable washing screen. So the plan is you throw your tomatoes, uh, whatever it may be, We'll have the hose, you hose it all off, the dirt will fall down, the water will fall down, and of course, you'll have this nice screen to hold your vegetables um, so we can then move them into the kitchen. And then also, as a, to give you a little update, Natalie was building her duck coop, which we just put in today. It's not 100% finished, but we really wanted to separate the animals. So some of the chickens are getting into the duck side, but they're able to jump over pretty easily to get in and out between their side and of course the chicken side. The majority of the chickens though are just observing. They don't really trust this thing. The question is, will the ducks actually go in it tonight? I guess we'll find out. And hopefully these chickens can get back over the fence, the little fence. We got our first dozen eggs today. Thank you, ladies. Well, that's it on this episode of Roots on Earth. Thank you so much to everyone who has subscribed. Uh, I think we got like 40 subscribers last video. Um, so I know this one isn't as exciting, but it's a good valid update. So uh, hopefully uh, if you're interested and you wanna follow this build, it really helps us. Um, if you just click that subscribe button, click that like button um, as we're trying to just keep this video going every week if we can, um, as there's progress on this house build or progress on the farm. Any questions, uh, feel free to comment. And thanks so much for everyone. I look forward to talking to you and giving you an update for next week. Bye. Such a good dog. <laughs>